This is the Merchant Center Misrep Presentation Suspension. And here was what I would do if I would face this issue in my account. I will explain it in four simple steps that you can follow and implement right now to get rid of this issue as soon as possible. Every day that you're not live on Google Ads is a day of wasted profit. So it's essential to get rid of the Multicenter Misrep Presentation suspension right away. In the eyes of Google's policies, the Misrep Presentation error means that you have something or you don't have something on your website that should be there for the visitors that Google is guiding towards your website. But because your time is valuable and you're looking for a solution, let's dive right into my screen. So here we are in an active Merchant Center account. I'm going to show you the four steps that you need to have in place to have everything active to solve the misrep presentation error. You can see that the products are active right here and they get stable clicks in the Merchant Center account, which is an indication that this overall Merchant Center account is in a very good condition. So the first step is actually to go on the left side to business information. And then you need to make sure that your business details are correct. So when I click on the business details, your business name needs to be the name of your website. You need to implement your street name and street number in address line one. Then the city implemented right here. The state and province need to be mentioned here as well. And the zip code matching with the country. It's important that all this information match the front end of your website, including the Merchant Center backend here, so it's totally in synchronized. The second solution is to implement the customer service details. So you need to copy and paste your contact details uh, from the URL on your website uh, here in the Merchant Center, and also implement the email address that you are reachable for potential customers on your website. And then you select the preferred contact method, uh, which is email most of the time. But if you prefer people to reach out to you on phone, that's also totally okay. You should implement your phone number right here, but this is optional right now because email is already enough. To go to the second solution, we are going to shipping and returns in the menu on the left side. We are going for the shipping details. Uh, here we see that this partner is active in France. So you need to make sure that this shipping information is matching your shipping policy on your website. So as we can see, when we added this policy, uh, you can see uh, France is the country selected right here. If we continue for the products, uh, this is suitable for all products. Then we press continue. We enter everything manually here. So we know 100% for a fact that everything is matching. Uh, the cutoff time is 8 p.m. Uh, in the evening in Paris, France time. Uh, the handling days of this partner is one to three days from Monday to Friday. And the transit time of the shipping is four to eight days. So in total, the shipping can take up to five until 11 days. So if you press continue, you need to make sure that you select the right price of this shipping. Uh, this partner is offering free shipping for other clients. So this is correct as it is. So now I go to the third solution, which is the return policies. Here, everything should match the front end of your business as well. So when I see here, the return window of this partner is actually 30 days. And when I click on the specifications, I can double check if everything is accordingly. The policy URL is uh, suitable. They accept returns for both defective and non-defective products, and they even accept exchanges. Uh, they only get products back, which are only new and not used actually. The return window from the moment people receive the package is 30 days. They can send the return by mail and there are no restocking fees. So this should match the front end of your website 100%. Otherwise, you will catch the misrepresentation error. And the last but not least is how your data sources are connected. So if you go to data sources here in the top menu, you need to make sure that there is just one API connected. Uh, if you just sell in one country right here, matching with the feed label. So FR is standing for France, which is the correct feed label because this partner is selling in France as well. So this makes sure that these are four elements in place. If you have any questions, make sure to click the link in the description to reach out to me personally or get my step-by-step -step framework so you can know exactly what things you need to implement on the front end of your website and in your merchant center to get rid of the misrepresentation error. And you, if you need any help with solving this issue in your merchant center account, feel free to also reach out to me using the same link. Make sure to watch the recommendation video after this, where I go more into detail of solving this issue in your merchant center account. I'm looking forward to seeing you there.